Welcome to the Strenuous Life Radio with J.R. Hendrick, the podcast where entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, and leaders, men and women, learn the essentials and soft skills of the strenuous life. Hey guys, I hope the weather's good where you're at. It's kind of overcast here, but, well, what can we say? Today I'm going to talk to you about something of uh, importance here. We're talking about the benefits of prayer for mental health. I got to say, it's, it's important for us to, 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 to have prayer. Prayer is a part of the strenuous life. Um, whether you want to admit it or not. I'll tell you something. I, I know Jimmy sings my praises, but I have my struggles too. I have some of the same depressions and fears of abandonment that he has. But the thing, the difference, the difference between me and him is sometimes I have to go along and thump him and make him take ownership. Or sometimes it involves you just get on your knees, or, or, or you know, people who have bad knees to sit down and and have some have some prayer. <laughs> Luckily, I'm like Jimmy. I didn't mess up my knees that bad. Uh, I, I had a roommate just like him, like his in uh, his junior year in college. But unlike uh, unlike him, my dad jumped in and said, uh, uh, "He ain't being your roommate no more." <laughs> so I kind of took care of myself for the rest of college. Anyway, it's like this: uh, you talk to the Lord about what's bothering you. He tells you what, he shows you what you can do. But you got to take ownership of what it means to uh, look after your mental health. All right? No one else can run it for you. Uh, you can have a, a doctor, a psychiatrist, prescribe you some medicines. You can have a counselor suggest some nice things, some nice things you can do. <laughs> but when you go home at night and everything, when you wake up, responsibility lies with you. Give me a minute. I gotta take some medication. So what you need to do is tag team it with the Lord. You do your part. You go pray to him and then plead your case before him and then he'll take care of things. Now, I'm surprised Jimmy didn't come up with this sooner in this strenuous life season, but this is, prayer is a foundation. Prayer is a foundation. And you need to understand that prayer is the one thing that's going to help you. Okay? You think you can do everything in your own power? I ask you again, you think you can do everything in your own power? You need to think again. Can't do it all as far as mental health and your own strength. Come up for the Lord. But you got to tag team it. Okay, you got to take ownership of your mental health as well. And so that's something that uh, Jimmy and I ascribe to. I've taken over the strenuous part, life part of this thing uh, for the sake of uh, Jimmy. Now, Jimmy may come back, do an occasional episode, but he's, you know, <laughs> he's asked me to, 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 to talk about these things. Now, um, he wanted to change it to this show called The Strenuous Life of J.R. Hendrick. I said, no, just keep it as it is, because you never know when you might want to come back, take over. Everybody's got their own pains. Everybody's got their own challenges. I'm not saying that mental health ain't... Um, um, isn't a, a valid challenge. 
people like Jimmy and I, we were, you know, when it comes to people asking us to come forward about mental health challenges, I'm going to say something right now. It was hard for both me and Jimmy. <laughs> Difference is, unlike Jimmy, I swallowed my pride first. Came forward. I did a motivational speech about mental health. <laughs> Jimmy just cowered, I think, if, if I let him. Thing is, anymore, he with his family gone and, and everything, I don't let him. I'm taking take it over. Now, he was looking for some something to talk about for Empower Your Pattern. And, uh, Finally, I told him, I said, Jimmy, why don't you go ahead and check uh, your own channel, the Empire Pattern, uh, the, the, the YouTube deal, and uh, that's where we came up with uh, the wonderful idea of taking ownership. But <laughs> when it comes to mental health, though, and taking ownership, you, you need the Lord's help. You think man alone is going to be able to help you? I ask again, do you think man alone is going to be able to help you? <laughs> you need to think that again. Because it's not that way in the eyes of God. Sure, you take you take ownership by what happens to your mental health. But we are nothing if we don't rely on God for puny. And that's why we need God. And that's why He loves us. My dad, grand, my granddaddy always told me, you trust in God, and that, that's the consequence follows. And I, I, I believe it. I believe it with all my heart. Now, the thing is, I understand that it's hard. Mental health is some people, and especially in this reactive culture. It's kind of like, uh, they don't want to talk about it. It's stigmatized. I'll talk about it. You better absolutely believe I will talk about it. Because it needs to be addressed. And prayer, especially when it comes to mental, mental health issues, We need to know in our, in our hearts that the Lord is always there with us. And we need to know that the Lord brings truth. Those are our pillars. Those are our foundations. Prayer, whether you like it or not, is a foundation of the strenuous life. Now, I know that there's a one podcast called Strenuous Life, a podcast that Jimmy and I were listening to it one morning a few weeks back. And for some reason, it, it, we went political. This one ain't going political. Now, we may make some statements that are controversial, you know, like prayer, but why should prayer be controversial? Why should praying to our Lord when we're down and hurting, why should that be controversial? I mean, come on, s s somebody tell me. And yeah, one thing that we talk about is uh, the sanctity of life. Y'all got a problem with that? There's plenty of podcasts out there in the universe you can listen to. But JR is going to say it like he calls it. Because it. Jimmy, don't get me wrong, I love Jimmy, but he can get kind of, well, Billy Mouth. Hope you've enjoyed listening to Strangless Life Radio. If you like what you hear, please uh, subscribe. Become a part of the Strangless Life family. This is J.R. Hendricks saying until next time. Don't just sit there and take it. You build your dreams so you can take it. 
And do what others don't, so you can be what others won't. And you do what others don't, so you can have what others can't. And like my daddy used to always say, Think strong, live strong, and live a strenuous life. Y'all take care now, you hear?